Hey folks, welcome back to Life Walk Wellness. As promised, today we are going to make an elderberry syrup. Now, previous video that we just did not too long ago, I did elderberry tincture. Today we're going to do the syrup. It's a little bit more palatable, a little bit easier to take, though it is very sweet. Um, but it works really well for the kids. I actually like it. It tastes really good. Um, there is no alcohol in it. It is just made with elderberries and honey. But stay tuned and we will go through that process step by step. So we're making elderberry syrup today and really all you need are dried or fresh elderberries. I use dried. Um, these are from Frontier Co-op. I also get a lot of my herbs from Mountain Rose Herbs online. Um, but as I mentioned in a previous video, last time I went to order uh, they were out of stock. So I still have the Frontier Co-op and when I run out of these I'll see who has them next. But anyways, we have our elderberries, we have honey, preferably raw honey, local if you can get it, and water. That's all it takes to make a simple syrup. So what we're going to do today, I'm making a double batch than what I normally make because I am going to give some away for the holidays. Um, so I need two ounces of the elderberries. Let me get my scale set here. And I'm just start pouring it in until I get two ounces. 2.6 ounces, wow, that's a lot more than I thought I needed. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of that out and then we're gonna move this into the kitchen and start the cooking process. Okay, so we're in the kitchen now. We've got all of our ingredients. We have our honey. We have our two ounces of elderberries, which I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the pan right now. And we need two pints, we need four cups whoops, of water. There's two cups. And two more cups. So four cups of water, two ounces of herbs. And now we're just gonna let that simmer until it boils down to half. And so we're gonna turn that on. I am not gonna make you sit here and watch this video while it comes to a boil. Um, I'll cut back into that later. But meanwhile, this is just gonna do its thing out here. It's gonna start boiling. Now, how do you know when it's boiled down to a half? I use this handy little skewer, if I can put it up close enough to the camera, that's marked to the level that would be two cups. So I've got four cups in there now. When this gets down to two cups, it should come to about that level. So I can just stick the skewer in, see if it's there yet, and then it'll be done. So meanwhile, we're gonna let this simmer and we will come back to it. So we're just starting to get a little simmering action going on here. So we're gonna let it keep going. Basically, as it simmers down um, and it about half of the water evaporates, it's gonna turn into more of a thicker syrup almost. Um, and then at that point, we'll strain it and add the honey. So almost 30 minutes later, still simmering down, almost there, not quite. Okay, so it looks like we're just about there. We put the little skewer in there, it comes right up to the line. So it means we've reduced it down to about half. And now we're going to take this off the heat for a little bit, turn this heat down, and we're going to get this ready to strain. So be careful it's hot and elderberries do stain. So we're going to send that through the strainer there all these last little berries out of here. Okay. So, push all that through. Make sure we get all that 
nice juice out of there. It's still coming out. So we wanna, don't want to waste any of that. Okay, so we are going to let this cool for just a little bit before we add the honey. Uh, we don't want to cook all the good stuff of the honey out of there, especially since this is raw honey. Um, we want to keep it as whole as possible. So we're going to let this cool down just a little bit and then we'll be back to add that honey soon. Okay, so now we're left here with about a pint of the infusion of the elderberries and oops, I need to open that up and water. Next, we're going to add the honey to open that up first. So to the one pint of infusion, I'm going to add about one cup of raw honey. So let's fill that up. Now, because of the high sugar content in honey, it also acts as a preservative as well as a sweetener for this syrup. So I'm gonna pour all that in. A little spatula here. Make sure we get all of that out. So again, we let this infusion cool a little bit so it doesn't actually cook the honey. They're just gonna warm together. Um, some herbalists say to cook this whole concoction for about 20 minutes or so. It will boil down into more of a syrup consistency if you do that, but in my opinion, it also cooks out a lot of the good enzymes in the honey that are also very good for you. So I just tend to warm, keep it warm enough just to melt the honey and get that all integrated here. So one other thing that I'm gonna add, so this is about now a pint and a half, maybe a little bit more of elderberry syrup. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of brandy. Now there's not enough alcohol in there to do anything to anybody, um, but it does act as more of a preservative. So again, just that much, one tablespoon in this whole batch. And now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into a jar and then I do keep it refrigerated. Um, just helps keep it fresher for a little bit longer. A lot of people will keep it on the counter because like I said, the honey is a natural preservative. Um, the brandy is a preservative. And so there you have it, but you'll get to see its beautiful color once I pour it into a jar as well. Okay, so now we're gonna pour this into some half pint jars using a funnel, whoops, because it does splash and it does get messy. So we've got one. There's the second one. Let's see how many we'll get out of this. Hoping at least three. Yep, three and then maybe a half. Perfect. So that is almost two pints total for this whole batch. Okay. You can see the color there. But that's it. Now you've got your elderberry syrup all ready for cold and flu season. And I hope you enjoyed this little how-to video. Okay, so that was the little tutorial on how to make elderberry syrup. So all of this now just in time for the cold and flu season and the holidays coming up. Um, so each of these is a half pint, so we've got about one and three quarters pints, almost two pints of syrup. Um, for just a couple of dollars. Um, honestly, I mean, when you buy it in the stores, it is great. It's gonna be good quality. Um, if you're not comfortable making it yourself, that's fine. Just know it is gonna be a little bit more expensive. But it's a fun project, super easy. You can make cough syrups, you can use other herbs. 
Um, I'll probably do some more of those at another time. But for now, we are all ready for this season with elderberry syrup. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, have a great life.